Hey guys, so welcome to day six. I am in a very big rush because I do have an appointment today and I need to leave in literally six minutes. So I'm going to eat my breakfast super quickly. Here is my weigh-ins from day one, two, three, four, five, and today, which is six, which is going to be the last one that you see. Here we go. 517.8. 515.8. 517.8. 517.8. Five twelve point six. Five eleven point six. Five oh nine point two. All right. So for breakfast, serving of one percent milk. I don't have this like plated all cute or nothing. Cause I'm telling you, in an actual rush, I might have to eat in the car. I am having a cinnamon coffee cake. I'm excited to try this and an apple. This smells so good. It smells like something that you'd get like from Starbucks. Okay. Mm. That is so comforting. Ten out of ten. Recommend. And it's warm. Mm. All right, you guys. So it's time for meal two, which is my first snack. So we just got back from my appointment. After I eat this, we actually have quite a few errands to run. So I know this seems repetitive, but <laughs> we are having some protein, which I chose cheese stick and chicken lunch meat. We have ourselves some fruit. Oh, that was like a seed. I thought that was a bug, I got scared. Just a small orange. And then the fudge brownie chocolate bar thingy majigger. So again, I know it's super repetitive, but Next week is actually gonna be kind of different. I chose some different options. I would do more what I ate today videos, but I'm actually going on a little mini vacation. We're actually going to a cabin in Gatlinburg and I'm excited, but I'm nervous because of everything that's going on right now, but this is a family thing and it's dedicated to Becky's mom. I'm scared of the, you know, the pandemic. Like this is, you know, in celebration of Becky's mom and because her mom wanted to go. So we're kind of like, it's in memorial to her. Um, it's important. So her birthday is like next week. So. Yeah, and her birthday is next week. So that is why we're going. And I'm not gonna vlog or anything because it's gonna be like personal. So there's gonna be like no what I ate to the videos. But if you guys do enjoy these, I could do more of them. Just let me know. Hey you guys, so it's time for meal three, which is my lunch. We are having a huge salad as per usual. I put onion, it's balsamic vinaigrette. It's going to be delish. And then I have half of a banana. And today we have a turkey burger on top of a potato bun. So all I did, because honestly, I can eat my things plain. I just wanted a little bit of spicy mustard, see? So, let's try a bite. And by the way, this smells really good. Like the meat, you can tell that it's seasoned. All right, let's do it. Mm. So good. I feel like the more I get accustomed to these meals, the more I can like experiment a bit. Like when I get the turkey burger again, I can add onion, I can add lettuce. Hey guys, so I stopped filming after this because I did overeat. Um, some will call it a binge and that's okay. And normally I'll come on here and tell you guys that it happened and I won't tell you what I ate. So I figured... This time I will. I wish I would have taken maybe like a picture or something, but I didn't know I was actually going to tell you guys what it was. I was going to tell you guys it happened because that's the point of these videos, but I wasn't going to tell you guys like what it was. I didn't think that mattered, but I figured y'all can know. So it was probably 10 minutes after the meal that I showed you guys where I was like, I am so hungry. I need all the food. And I was like telling Becky, I just want something unhealthy. Like, 
I just kept saying it repeatedly and repeatedly. And Becky was like, no, no, don't do it. Don't do it. Like she was there for me and she was comforting and sweet, but I wasn't listening to her. So I ordered PF Chang's and I got Kung Pao chicken, which comes obviously with the Kung Pao chicken. It, you know, has a really delicious sauce. It's kind of spicy. There's some peanuts in it, celery. I love it. And it comes with a side of rice and it's not like an abundance of food. It's good for like one person. And I normally don't ever finish the Kung Pao chicken. I always leave like the bigger pieces of chicken because bigger pieces of chicken kind of gross me out. So that would have been totally fine. And that wouldn't have been like a binge, but I think it was two hours later I could not stop thinking about McDonald's french fries. It was absolutely ridiculous. And something came over me. I couldn't control it. And I got two large fries, which I don't know why, because I never eat two large fries. And I did get the two large fries, and I still didn't eat the second large fry. I just ate one large fry. And then I got 20-piece nugget, which I only ate the outside of it. I know that's like totes weird. So I ended up having Kung Pao chicken from P.F. Chang's and then I had a 20 piece nugget, but I only ate the outside of the nugget, not the inside of the nugget. And then a large fry. So that's what happened. And I mean, it is what it is. I'm here to be honest, but I do want to say Jenny Craig honestly might be hands down the best weight loss diet that I have ever tried and just because I am making mistakes it doesn't mean that it's Jenny Craig's fault it's my fault obviously I've talked about this in a video before we don't really need to go into more detail with it right now but I just wanted to update you guys on that and um I truly am enjoying Jenny Craig and if my brain and my mental state and my relationship with food was a little bit more normal i don't think we would always be having this problem <laughs> so anyways i hope that you guys did enjoy this video and i'll see you in my next one bye